At a suburban club ground in Melbourne, Peter Wilson leads the squad out for a training run. I introduce a discipline that you have never, ever, ever experienced. The players' dedication and loyalty to their Yugoslav-born coach, Rade Rasic, remain strong. No coach ever has gone to the hotel three months before team comes in a camp that I negotiate rooms which way the rooms will face. Continental people eat, eat a lot of bread. If they want full basket of bread by themselves, you put on the table for them. We got a very large and rich history. We are the people who are very explosive people. We are very good people. We give you everything, like, you know, but if you press hard, you know, then I can see black, like, you know. As a child, I wasn't a fan of Serbian food, but now it's some of my favorite food. Before there was, most of them was, uh, identity was Yugoslavia. But now not anymore, they are, they are Serbians. When you look to the football side, I think there's been a concentration of strong football minds from those major areas in, in Serbia, like Belgrade and Novi Sad, that's allowed coaches to influence the game, not perhaps just in Australia, but all over the world. People are crazy there for team sports or whatever. It's a very much cultural thing over there. Team sport, how they're going to outsmart each other. That's a way of living. Do you have any definite idea how Australia will play as such? What your tactics will be? We may predict one aspect that we will be forced on defence. When we live in a country like uh, those days, Yugoslavia, you are born with a, with, a, with a ball or you are born with anything that you can play with. Stylish right back Doug Uchisenovic works as a storm. Two things are very important. School, football, and third thing is girl. Unfortunately for me, school wasn't very important, but girl and football was only two, two of my loves, you know? To become somebody, you have to be singer, soccer player, or, or, or actor. That's it, like, you know? Those days, everyone was aiming for that. You know? My dream was to play first division, ne not necessarily Partizan or Red Star or any of these big clubs, just to play in the first division. Now looking back, uh, realizing how good it was. Savicevic, Pixi Stojkovic, Predra Mijatovic and all these guys, it was absolutely phenomenal league. I come with Red Star to play four friendly games against Socceroos and by coming here, I love the country and I always had a gut feeling one day I'll be back here just for holiday or something like that. My option is in sport who win, nothing else. Zoran came over there and then he was looking for centre back. Probably I felt that I can trust Zoran. Probably was the best decision I ever made in my soccer career. It was fantastic and I can tell you now, I had a great time playing for soccer. It was absolutely phenomenal. When I was growing up, I loved the game. My dad loved the game. It was an extension of that. And we spent a lot of time at the former NSL club. That was Footscray, J-U-S-T. That was a um, Yugoslav club. Now you can go to some club, you support them, you barrack for them, but uh, we used to love just, it is different. Given the events of what was happening back home, that club then came to an end and I think the Serbian community started forming other clubs in preparation or in anticipation of what might happen. The Serbs, yeah, they love the game. I remember when I came many years ago, it was so many people here and they still love the game. I played two seasons there in my juniors. Just nice to, to play at a club where the Serbian culture was a big part of, of the club life. I still spend time in the community and community clubs and, and you'll talk about you know, which players could have played in the NSL or could have played in the A-League. We didn't necessarily have a, a, a Serbian team in the, in the top league, so maybe that was a bit of an influence on the progression of, of players into the national team. And the last World Cup we had myself, Milos Dejanek, Tommy Rogic, so that's like three out of 23. What chance do you think we have in Munich? Australia will show in Germany definitely 100% determination and will to win. Many teams are trying to build this up. We have that in our team in build already. There is one picture that you have to see when they stand for national anthem. National anthem of, for these boys was religion. 
I would not settle for anything but best. I didn't look for the dual citizenship either. Outright, I took Australian citizenship and I'm no, not regretting that. I'm so proud and will be proud till I'm gone because it's the greatest human privilege in the world.